Welcome to Streamport Connection with Tommy. This video is on your Extreme Rules pay-per-view results. 2019 from July 14th, 2019. Pre-show matches. Uh, you had uh, Intercontinental title matches. What first? Jessica Nakamura versus Finn Balor. Tom Phillips, Corey Grace, Byron Saxon at ringside. We see uh, people still finding their seats. First uh, comes out, Shinsuke Nakamura. Then we got Finn Balor's champion coming out next. Bell rings and they sight each other up. Nakamura's mind games backfire and they go at it with Balor taking control. Balor with a low drop kick to the face for a pop. Balor with a big chops in, in the corner. Nakamura counters in the corner and positions Balor over the top. Nakamura follows up with a high knee to the gut. Nakamura goes for a move on the apron, but Balor kicks him to, to the floor. Balor runs the ropes and leads out, taking Nakamura back down on the floor. Balor launches Nakamura from the barrier to barrier a few times. Balor brings it back in the ring. Right before the 10 count, Nakamura pulls Balor into the armbar. Balor tangles up, tangles, but Nakamura locks it in again. Balor gets his foot up on the bottom rope, and the hole's broken. Nakamura keeps control and drops knees. But he can't put Balor away. Nakamura keeps Balor grounded with a modified guillotine now. And then uh, Balor tries to fight up and out. But Nakamura takes it right back down. Fan try to rally behind Balor. Balor ends up coming, making a comeback with a few kicks. Fans are popping for Balor as he begins to take control. And drops Nakamura with an elbow over, over the throat for a close two count. Balor keeps control and goes to the top. But Nakamura stops a coup de grace attempt. Nakamura rocks Balor over and hits a, a sliding German suplex. Nakamura then waits for Kazasha. Balor blocks it with a double stomp to the gut. Balor keeps control and goes for another coup de grace attempt. But Nakamura moved. Nakamura dropped Balor with a running knee to the back of the, he of the head. Then Nakamura nailed with Kazasha. It covers for the pin and wins the new. It wins the match and becomes a new Intercontinental Champion. Shinsuke Nakamura. After the match, Nakamura takes the title and celebrates as by Balor makes his exit with his head down. Uh, we go to replays. We come back to Nakamura raising the title. Next match on the pre-show, we got Cruiserweight title, Tony Nese versus Drew Glock. We got a ringside. Big Joseph welcomes us to the show. He's uh, chimed in uh, along with Aiden English and Nigel McGuinness. Out first from Tony Nese, then Cruiserweight Champion Drew Glock was out next with Greg, Greg Hamilton does ring introductions. After they're already in the ring, Glock comes out to a hometown pop. Bell rings and they charge, charge but Glock drops knees and goes to work. Back and forth, Glock takes knees to the mat and they tangle. They break and get, get to their feet, sizing each other, sizing each other up as a fan champ for Glock. Nese shows off with some, some moves. And takes Glock down for a quick one count. Knees charges and closes on Glock over the top rope to the floor. Knees poses and places the crowd and gets booed. They end up on the floor. Glock hits a big stiff leg from the apron for a pop. The referee counts, but Glock brings it back in at six. Knees kicks out at two. More back and forth a few minutes after a break. Uh, well, they're, pl they're plugging the network and what have you. Other matches on the on the actual show. Uh, knees with a big German suplex into the turnbuckles as Glock is check, check, checked in on. Glock is hanging in front of the second rope. As Knees goes to, uh, to the top and hits a moonsault to the floor. Hitting Glock on the way down, Knees brings it back into the ring and hits a 450 for another close pen attempt. Glock try, uh, fights back and hits a big boot. Knees fights back and they trade strikes. In the middle of the ring, Glock catches Knees with a roll up. But he rolls through. Nice goes for a sunset driver, but it's blocked again. Glock counters with a power bomb in the middle of the ring, but Nice kicks out once again. Glock comes back with a close line for another two count. Fan try to rally behind Glock as he waits some time. Glock then grabs Nice and hits a cyclone clash in the middle of the ring for the pin to win. Winner of the match, Drew Glock. After the match, Glock stands tall as his music hits. So he retained. We go, we go back to the panel. To end the pre-show, as they discuss the, uh, tonight's uh, pay-per-view with 10 matches left to go. Charlie plugs the, the uh, WWE Network and SummerSlam. Coach sent us a video package for tonight's winner-take-all 
Extreme Rules Main Event. Yeah, Coachman, Jonathan Coachman, back from ESPN. Be back on the panel for your pre-show events. And the panel talk more about the previous match and Coach wraps up the kickoff show. 2019 Extreme Rules kicks off with a video package. Live from Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Still the city of ECW, so you're going to have many ECW chants. Philadelphia, as Michael Coles Hall welcomes us to the show. He joined him by Corey Grace, the tattoo champion of the world, and Renee Young. There was he, Shane McMahon, and Drew McIntyre backstage, walking for the first match of the evening. Coles Hall leaves us a video package for tonight's opener. Remind us how we got to that uh, to this point. No holds barred match. Against Roman Reigns and Undertaker. Well, we go to the ring. We got booze to start up as Shane, Shane McMahon's music hits. Shane will make his way out to the ring first. Mike Rome stops his original introduction and gives Shane a big best in the world introduction. As I was doing it before he was, even more Robert that came in with his buddy. And I didn't believe I could outdo the announcer, and I did it. And I still have five, five to ten seconds to go after he even stopped. Drew McIntyre was out next with his separate introduction. Roman Reigns was out first for his team. Shane and Drew to, tried to intimidate Reigns as he waits by himself for his partner to come out. The bell finally tolls for, for the Undertaker. Lights go out. Only Undertaker's grand entrance begins. Taker stands with Reigns. Whole gimmick, trench coat, hat, what have you. As they stare down on their opponents when they get up there, who aren't backing down, Taker takes off his hat and lightning strikes and the fans pop. Renee accuses Shane of hiding behind Drew, who is staring Taker down. Fans start chanting Taker's thing. The bell finally rings. Drew starts off with Reigns. Trash talk, meet in the middle of the ring. Drew strikes first. They start brawling. Reigns sends Drew into the corner and rocks him with a big right hand. Reigns scoots Drew for a, a small one drop, but Drew slides out. Drew ends up hitting a big, big belly to belly across the ring. Drew takes it to the corner and tags in Shane after stopping away on Reigns. To get the momentum back for his team, Shane comes in through some moves. Shane with a bunch of strikes on Reigns in the corner. Reigns comes back in with a right, big right hand. Reigns mounts. Shane in the corner and unloads with strikes as fans count along. Ten count. Taker is ready to come back, back in as the fans pop. Shane tries to avoid it. Taker tags in to a big pop. Taker unloads on Shane with strikes and big shoulders blocks. Taker drops a leg over Shane's arm and covers for a two count. Taker grabs Shane by his arm again. Stares Drew down. Taker lets Shane get, get close for a tag but yanks him back. Still staring Drew down. Taker goes up for the old school, but Shane pulls him back down and unloads with strikes in the corner. Taker easily turns it around and beats Shane, Shane down in the corner. Taker continues run, running over Shane, and Reigns looks on smiling. Fan chant, you still got it, at Taker. Before Taker, Taker goes back to the top rope, and this time old school is nailed for a big pop. Drew reaches up for a tag, and Taker, Taker does allow it. He just backs off. Taker and Drew stare each other down as Drew slowly comes in. They meet face to face and Drew strikes first. Taker fires back with a strike and they trade shots in the middle of the ring. Boo, yeah, boo, yeah, yeah, you know how the crowd goes. Drew kicks Taker in the face, but he just takes it. It's like you just fired up a, a fire breathing dragon. Uh, Drew counters a shot and closes on Taker over the top, but he lands on his feet. Taker bring, brings him back. Out to the floor as he grabs his uh, grabs his foot. I even predicted that myself. Classic Taker style. Taker with a big leg chop on, on the apron. Taker brings it back in the ring for a two count. Reigns unloads on Drew in the corner for as the pants kind of long. Reigns levels Drew with a big boot to the face off the ropes. Shane tries to distract from the apron and Reigns rocks him to the floor. Reigns ends up hitting hitting the floor. Hard after Shane interfered again. Taker comes over and grabs a steel chair, chasing Shane up the stage. Drew stops at Taker ring stops Taker at ringside and launches him into the steel ring steps. 
Drew brings him back into the ring. And Shane comes back to the ringside area. Drew with a suplex to Reigns for a two count. Drew drops Reigns again and tags in Shane to make it a two count. Uh, Shane mounts Reigns with strikes for a, a pin attempt. Drew with another quick tag, taking Reigns back to the corner. More offense by the heels, keeping Reigns down. Drew grounds Reigns in the middle of the ring and works on the arm as Taker waits for a tag, pacing on the apron. Reigns finally counters Drew in the corner, but Drew rocks him. Reigns catches Drew with a small drop, and they both go down. Taker rallies the fans for, for Reigns. Now it's Drew charging, but Reigns moves, and Drew hits the ring shoulder first. Taker and Shane tag in at the same time. Taker drops Sh Shane and Drew. Taker tosses Drew into the corner, and then, and then the, another corner. Taker with a corner splash. Taker scoops Shane. It's a hit snake eyes. Taker follows up with a big boot. Taker knocks Drew off the apron, then clothes on Shane over the top to the floor. Shane hits the apron on the way down. Taker follows Shane and stops him. Stomps on him. Taker starts taking apart the middle and out table. Taker looks to powerbomb Drew through the announce table, but Elias runs down and nails Taker with a guitar shot to the back. Fans are booing, booing as Taker goes down. Reigns comes over and beats on Elias until Drew drops Reigns with a Claymore kick into the timekeeper's area. Taker gets up and blocks a shot by Elias. Taker goes for a choke slam to Elias, but Drew drops Taker with a Claymore kick. Drew takes apart the announce table. The middle one has there's three of three of them at ringside. Shane directs traffic as Drew and Elias bring Taker over the middle on the announce table. Laying him on top, Shane goes back in the ring and goes to the top. Shane flies and nails a huge elbow drop, putting Taker through the announce table. A oh, holy crap. Champ breaks out from the crowd. Elias and Drew take on Shane as we go to replace on the flying elbow drop. Taker is still out as Drew and Elias drag him back into the ring. Shane gets up and stumbles to the ring as well. Shane orders Elias and Drew to tag a uh, drag taker into the corner, positioning him against the turnbuckle. Shane brings a trash can from under the ring. The yeah, metal one, not the silver one, but the hard metal one. Puts it against Taker's face. Drew works Taker over while he's down as Shane slowly gets back to the top. Shane cut, cuts his own throat, Undertaker style. Mocking Taker, Shane leaps again, this time hitting a big coach to coach to Taker and the trash can in the corner. Reigns runs around the ring and hits a, simo, a Superman punch to, to Elias, knocking him down. Drew takes Reigns down on the floor with a Russian leg sweep. Shane drags Taker to, to the middle of the ring and looks to crawl for a pin, but Taker sits straight up. Shane can't believe it. And I predicted that. Robert said, what? <laughs> uh, Taker stands up and uh, puts Shane back down with a choke slam. Elias comes in, but Taker also hits, hits him with a choke slam. Taker stands tall and cuts his own throat again, but Drew is now standing behind him. Taker turns around, but Reigns runs in with a big spear to Drew before he can hit Taker with a claymore kick. Reigns grabs Shane, sends him into Taker. Taker scoops Shane and hits the Tombstone Power Driver in the middle of the ring and pins him for the win. Crosses the hands on the chest. One, two, three. After the match, Taker and Reigns stand tall over Shane as the bell starts to toll. Taker and Reigns stare each other, stare each other, and he nod in a show of respect as Taker's music hits. Taker approaches Reigns, still staring each other down as they have another show of respect. Taker's music stops and Reigns' music begins. Referee checks on Shane and Reigns makes his exit from the ring. As we go to replays, while Taker is still staring down Shane, Taker's music starts back up. He drops to one knee in the middle of the ring, poses as the lights go, go low. Carl Sutton says everyone tells everyone to enjoy it because we won't know how many more times we will get to enjoy this. Taker makes his exit and stops on the stage to look back and then raise his feet as the lightning strikes. And we will see him again at SummerSlam. Because they, they showed a SummerSlam video later on in the show. Cheryl Shriver's backstage with Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. I couldn't think of the, the, the girl's name. Well, they talk about getting extreme in Philly tonight, and they say losing is not an option for tonight's main event. 
A big Raw reunion episode is announced for next week's Raw from Tampa on the USA Network. Raw Tag Team Title Match, Usos vs. Revival. We go to the ring and out comes Raw Tag Team Champions, Revival, Scott Dawson, Dash Wilder, out next to the Usos. They take the mics and hike the match on the way to the ring. Usos do. Dawson starts off with Jay as they go at it, trading quick pin attempts early on. More back and forth until Uso has control. Jimmy tags in for a quick double team and a two count. Dawson counters and makes it, and in comes Wilder for the double teaming, but Uso fight, fights him off. Uso makes a tag, double team dash with kicks in the corner. Dawson pulls dash to the floor to avoid a double super kick. Uh, the Revival pauses for a breather outside the ring. Uso's run the ropes for a double dive, but the Revival meets them with right hands. Uso sends it back to the floor in front of the announcer day, announcers and leap out, taking them back down. Jay drops Dash, and then Dawson, as he tags in, Dash suckers Uso in, in on, on the floor, allowing Dawson to hit the butt big clothesline. Jay goes into the barrier. Jimmy comes over, but the referee backs him off. Revival keeps his hole with double teaming near their corner. Jay finally get, drops Dawson as Jimmy, as Jimmy waits for the tag. Jimmy fights off of an approaching dash on the apron. The referee didn't see Jimmy tag and argued, allowing Revival to double team Jay again and mock the referee. Revival with more offense on Jay, including a big double team. Referee checks on Jay as he, after he takes a hard elbow. Dawson takes Jay to the top and works him over. Jay fights off of a superplex and sends Dawson down, but Jay also falls out to the floor. Both are down on the floor now. Dash and Jimmy both tag in at the same time. Jimmy unloads and catches Dash with a big Samoan drop. Dawson runs in, but he also takes a Samoan drop. Dash comes back for a close two count. As they both go back down, Dawson tags in, but Jimmy kicks them both away. Jimmy goes up top and nails a corkscrew from the top, taking both men, taking them both down. Usos with a double team some more and drop on Dawson, but he kicks out of Jay's pin. More back and forth. Dawson with a bang buster on Jay for a close two count. Dawson shows some frustration because he couldn't get the three count. Both teams hit double team moves. Dawson breaks up the pin just in time. After Jimmy flies off the top, everybody's down now. Uso with a super kick to both opponents. Jimmy tags in, and they run the ropes to double splash Dash, but Dawson trips one. Dash tangles with Jimmy. Dawson tags in, and they hit the shadow machine to get the pin and retain as Jay tried at, le last, at the last second to break the pin. But the uh, trip, to, uh, trip foot with the trip. After match, Revival takes their titles and stands tall as the music hits. Next up, we got Cesaro versus Aleister Black. This one, the feed kept on going in and out, in and out, in and out. But uh, we got uh, we get a break. Tom shows us an international announced team as Cesaro makes his way out to the ring. He didn't get much of an entrance. He's wearing his new jacket and what have you. Alistair Black was out, out next. Bell rings and Black immediately goes for Black Mass, but Cesaro ducked. Cesaro took Black into the corner and they trade strikes. Cesaro slams back on, on his head. Cesaro goes for the neutralizer early, but Black back drops him. Cesaro lands on his feet, sits down on the mat, just like Black does. Taunting him, Black ends up kicking Cesaro out of the ring. Black nails a big moonsault from the second turn, buckle to the floor, taking Cesaro down. Black then sits down on the floor. Now, saying to Cesaro to taunt him. Black brings Cesaro back into the ring, but Cesaro slams him into it. Into, one of the corners, Black with a big a back elbow and a double te double knees from the corner. Black then drops Cesaro with a kick to the head and then, and then got a two count. Black took Cesaro back down with a strike. More back and forth. Black with strikes. Cesaro counters. Knocks Black out of the ring. Both superstars are clutching at, at their knees. Cesaro brings Black back into the ring. Waits for, for him to get up. Cesaro springboards in and there's a big uppercut for a close two count. Cesaro with more offense and another pin attempt. Cesaro with a big gut wrench suplex for a two count. Cesaro drops, el drops elbows and a double team stomp. A double stomp for a, a two count. Black fights back with, with kicks. 
Black then nails the moonsault from, from the middle rope. Zoe got up, got up first, but Black kick, kicks him back down. They trade shots. Black with more kicks. Zoe with an uppercut. Black counters in the corner. Zoe catches Black double knees and launches him into, into a big uppercut. So with a close hoop count as Black gets to the bottom rope. Zoe with more offense and another quick pin attempt. More back and forth and counters between both, both guys. Zoe with a sharpshooter and a cross face. Fan chat, this is awesome as the battle continues. The check goes some more, and Black finally hits Black Mass for the pin and the win. After match, Black stands tall as music hits. Go to replace with Black standing tall. Our truth Carmelo, Carmelo backstage looking for 24 7 champion Drake Maverick. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross walk up. They, they send Truth into the women's bathroom looking for Drake. Bliss has matching t shirts for she and Cross. Which I didn't see that because the feed was still in and out. So we, we went back to the live feed, and when the match is already underway, well, they show apparently showed that NXT Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits, appear for promos. They talked about the about the match, about the match, and Bailey. They also uh, laugh at the idea of Bliss and Cross sharing a title. Cross insists that she will become the first Cold SmackDown Women's Champion tonight. They walk off. Montez Ford says. Cross is intense. Angelo Dawkins asks if it's weird that he really wants to party with her. Two on one handicap match for the SmackDown women's title. Nikki Cross and Alex Bliss versus Bailey. Back from her illness, uh, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. They come out first together. SmackDown women's champion Bailey was out next, and Tom showed us some of the other. Other international announce teams in the arena. We get formal ring introductions from Mike Rome before the match. Graves makes a reference to Sasha Banks on commentary. I was waiting for her appearance. She didn't show. Bailey and Cross go out to start the match. Bailey rocks Cross and she tags in Bliss. Bliss charge, charges and Bailey takes her down. Bailey turns around with offense on the outside and the inside. Bliss ends up dropping Bailey at ringside and working her over for the two count. Bliss and Cross with quick tags as they keep Bailey down in the corner, stopping away. Bliss yells at the referee. Cross comes back in and hits the neck breaker for a two count. Cross keeps Bailey grounded in the middle of the ring. Cross and Bliss with more kicks and tags and offense. They double team in the corner and the referee yells at Bliss again. Well, you got a five count. Bliss with an insult to injury on Bailey. Takes them both down at once. Bailey slams Cross on her face. Bailey rolls Cross into a submission in the middle of the ring now. Bliss runs to it into it to break it up, but misses the knee drop. Bailey grabs Bliss and applies Cross' face while she still has Cross in the other submission. Bliss bites and uh, gets free, but Cross is still locked in. Bliss finally comes back in, breaks a hold on Bailey as the referee tries to restore order. And I think that's where I ca we catch it uh, from the live feed. Cross ends up hitting the Tornado DDT on Bailey for a two count. More offense on Bailey, but she hangs on. Bliss tags in, goes for the top, goes to the top for the Swiss Abyss, but Bailey gets her knees up. Cross tags in and goes back up top. Bailey knees her in midair as she tries to do a cross body attempt. Bailey goes up top, hits the flying, flying elbow on Cross for the pin to retain. Bailey wins, and still your SmackDown Women's Champion. After the match, Bailey stands tall, raises her title as music plays. We go to replace. Bailey raises the title again, smiles from the stage as Cross and Bliss look on from the ring. Back to Cole's Hall, Tattoo Champion, and Young and Ringside. They lead us to a video package. Showing recent events that led to tonight's last man standing match. Which is Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. We go to ring out first comes Lashley. Strowman was out next. Lashley meets meet Strowman on the, at the apron. And they immediately go at it. Bell had not ring. Balling on the floor. Braun sends Lashley in, into the barrier. Ends up bringing him back in the ring. Then the bell rings. Strowman keeps the show. Drops Lashley on, and the referee makes, makes the first count. Strowman weighs him, weighs him off. Runs over Lashley on the outside. Referee counts. Strowman runs around the ring again. 
and charges the Lashley, gets up, but Lashley hits hits him with a spear on the outside. Referee counts on Braun while Lashley watches on. Lashley ends up dropping Strowman again on the outside of, as half of the Seals ring steps come into play. Referee counts, but Strowman is up at four. Lashley with, with a step shot across the back, sending Strowman over the barrier and into the crowd. Lashley follows Strowman into the crowd, and the brawl continues. They brawl up the stairs into the crowd and onto the concession, concession area as Lashley continues to dominate. Merchandise table gets taken out. Nothing but a small, uh, a uh, regular size table. It doesn't break or anything, but it just can't get taken out. Well, t shirts are falling off of it. Uh, Showman blocks the suplex attempt and suplexes Lashley into the merchandise ball. Fans gathered around with a holy crap spot. As Lashley st still makes it up before the 10 count. By the way, there was nobody at the t shirt stand buying t shirts when they got to the table. Showman beats Lashley back into the arena. Knocking him down and with knocking down the stairs as Lashley try, tries to retreat. Showman brings Lashley back to the floor and drops him as the referee counts. Showman clears fans out of the way and makes room for to run at Lashley. After all, it's the last man standing. You got 10 count anywhere in the arena. Showman levels Lashley again, but he still makes it up at the nine, at nine count. Lashley counters the move and sends Showman crashing through a, through a barrier at ringside. Frontway heading back to the ring. Another holy crap breaks out with a chant from the crowd. Referee counts them both. They both get up at eight. Lashley beats Showman around the ringside area. Lashley rams Showman back into the apron and he goes down. Referee counts once again. Lashley runs around the ring and knocks Showman over to the jumper and announce table. Lashley tips the table over on Showman. And my buddy Robert said, It's over. It's over. I said, No, just wait for him. I was expecting him to pick up the table, but he doesn't. He just crawls out from the other side. As uh, Showman was buried under the table, but crawls out. Whereas the referee was counting, he gets up a nine. Lashley's frustrated. Showman stumbles over, over into back into the crowd. Lashley runs and leaps off the top of the barrier, but Showman catches him. Showman ends up launching Lashley up and over the row of an international announce teams in the crowd. Crowd goes wild again as the referee starts counting again. There's chaos at the international town now team. Gentleman keeps control of Lashley, putting him back down with a headbutt as the referee counts. Lashley counters a drop showman, then slams a plastic trash can over him. Referee and showman make it back, back up at eight count. Showman rocks Lashley with, with a right hand. Showman kicks Lashley while he's down. Lashley gets up. But a right hand puts him right back down from Showman. Fans chant, this is awesome again. As the referee counts Lashley once again. Lashley wants Showman to bring it. As he keeps on saying, bring it, bring it, bring it. As he does with a big boot. Lashley talk, talks more trash. And Showman keeps rocking him again. Showman takes Lashley up another set of stairs in the crowd. Lashley shows, him, shows a fan into Showman to distract him. This looked like a, an enhancement talent extra. Showman with a chair shot over Lashley's back. Showman looks down and sees a big drop in front of him. Pants point to him to throw Lashley down the down the drop. Showman scoops Lashley, but Lashley fights them fights him off. Showman scoops Lashley on his shoulder as fans go wild for the drop. Showman hits a, a big power slam from the ledge down through a structure below. Fan chat, holy crap again. Referee counts as the ECW chant breaks up from the crowd. Referee continues counting, but he can't even see the two superstars behind the wall. Showman breaks through the wall and comes out with his arm in the air at seven or eight count. Referee continues counting and ends up getting a ten, and Lashley is counted out. And Lashley never appeared. Winner of the match, Ronald Showman. After the match, Showman limps back to the ring as the music plays. Debris everywhere. Showman climbs. The quarter opposes as the fans cheer him on. Coleslaw says Braun is the last monster standing tonight. We go to replay. Showman continues celebrating in the ring for a standing ovation from the crowd. Showman makes makes his exit, selling the brutal match on the way up the ramp. Charlie Cruz is backstage talk, talking with the club. AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson. 
if you didn't know who they are. Where you been? Under a rock? Styles says, it's wrong to say he reunited with Gallows and Anderson just because he lost to Ricochet. Styles says, they are more than his brothers. And this has had nothing to do with Ricochet, who was just the first of many. Ricochet says he won't take anything away from Ricochet because he will be a huge WWE superstar one day. But he will take away the U.S. title tonight, and that is it. Too sweet. They encourage Charlie to throw up the too sweet sign. Simple. Uh, with them, but she goes to AJ, stop, uh, stopping her by grabbing her arm. Trump walks off laughing. Triple set puts back down tag, tag team titles, heavy machinery versus New Day and versus Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. We got the ring out first comes New, New Day, Big E, and Zombie Woods. Heavy machinery out, out next, the Tucker and Otis. We get a pre recorded backstage video of Tucker and Otis talking about the defying the odds against them tonight. Out next to SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. Woods weighs off Tucker and Otis so he can start the match with Brian. Brian and Woods lock up. Training holds to get started. Brian drops Woods with a shoulder. They run the ropes again, and Brian blocks a German suplex attempt. More back and forth with Woods with a big rolling elbow. Tucker tags himself in. He takes Woods down face first. Tucker shows some athleticism and drops Woods with a big shoulder. Woods counters the move and takes Tucker down. Rowan tags in and tosses Tucker over the top to the floor. Rowan drops Woods and splashes him in the, in the middle of the ring for a two count. Rowan drives knees into Woods' back, keeps him grounded. Rowan drops Woods with a knee to the cut. Rowan takes Woods to the corner, tags in Brian for a double team. Moses, Rowan stands on Woods as Brian encourages him. Brian keeps Woods grounded and digs at his face. Right in front of the referee as he's been warned. Rowan tags back in. Slams Woods over his knee with a backbreaker. Rowan rocks Big E off the apron. Brian grabs Big E and sends him face first into the, into the steel steps. Woods manages to drop Rowan with insecurity. Woods finally takes Rowan down with a drop kick. Otis tags in from Woods and runs over Brian. And then Rowan. And Otis spins Brian around several times, several times, and then slams him into the middle of the ring. Otis catches a kick and then launches Brian over his over his head. Otis with a big, big splash in the corner. Brian goes down. Otis is getting fired up and, and fans cheering on him uh, for him. Otis does a caterpillar. Tucker tags in for a sling, slingshot slam, and they hit it. But Brian kicks out of two. Brian counters Tucker and. Uh, in comes Big E. Big E with a belly to belly on Tucker. Big E goes for a splash, but Tucker gets his knees up. Otis comes back in and lifts Big E for a double team move. As Tucker comes off the top with a suplex assist, Otis covers, but Rowan breaks the pin. Rowan slams Tucker and then drops Otis with a big kick. Wood jumps on Rowan's back, but gets tossed. Rowan runs around the ring and hits the crossbody. To Woods for, for two count. Brian with a running knee to Woods for the apron. Big E closes on Rowan over the top to the floor. And then Big E ran, runs and hit, sits on, hits a big, uh, spear on Brian from the, from the apron to the floor. Otis is left alone now. He has something in mind as the fans cheer him on. Otis runs and runs for a big splash, but stops and changes his mind. He steps to the apron and then jumps out. Taking Big E and Rowan down on the floor. Tucker goes up top and leaps out, taking Big E and, and Rowan down. Otis brings Big E back into the ring. Tucker follows up with a compactor to Big E, but Woods breaks up the pin just in time. Heavy machinery with another big double team on Woods. Rowan goes for a double team, a double iron claw, and Otis on Otis, but they beat, they beat him down. Uh, they double team Rowan some more. Then they hit him with several splashes in the corner. Tucker and Otis go for a double suplex on, on Rowan. Big E comes over to bring them all to the mat, but Rowan stays on top. Big E brings Tucker in. Tucker and Otis down. Big E climbs up with Rowan now. Big E 
with, with a big superplex on Rowan. Brian does a fly, flying headbutt from the top, but uh, to Biggie. As Brian goes right into the level lock on Biggie. Brian keeps pulling br back on the hold as Biggie tries to break it. Biggie finally gets free. Brian with kicks him while Biggie is down, down on his knees. Taking taking them, getting hyped up. Brian ends up Uh, Brian pulling back on the hole as Biggie tries to break it, finally gets free. Brian with kicks while Biggie is down, down, taking him, getting hyped up. Biggie stands up, stares Brian down. Are you done broken a, a sleeping dragon? Brian slaps, slaps him in the face. Biggie wants another one. Brian slaps him again. Biggie grabs the next attempt and turns Brian inside out with a clothesline. Biggie drops, drops the straps off his shoulders and catches the moonsault from Brian. Wood tags in and they hit the midnight hour and the middle ring for the pin and win the, the tag team champion. And now, six time champions. After the match, Big E and Javier celebrate with the titles as music plays. We go to replays. Big E and Wood stand up on top of the announce table and dance with the titles before continuing the celebration to the back. We get uh, we take a, a quick break and when that we come back with Kobe Keaton greeting the new champs in the back. As Caleb Braxton tries to get a word in, but Paul Heyman come, comes to stash his mic out of her hand and it walks into the, the arena. We go to the stage, and out comes Paul Heyman. ECW chance uh, breaks, out, breaks out for the crowd. Heyman mentions Brock Lesnar being a soon to be champion. And he says he's going to be your fighting and reigning champion. He ain't fighting. How many shows is he on? One every three months. Lesnar will catch in his money in bank shots on the WWE Champion or the Universal Champion tonight. Heyman then asks if he's really telling the truth or is he just being Paul Heyman? I was guessing he's just being Paul Heyman. Well, wait for the main event. Ready for event. Heyman tosses his mic, walks off, and some fans boo. The teaser calls on his head. Heyman's riddles on, riddles on Lesnar catching in. Have a continued here tonight. U.S. title match, AJ versus Ricochet. We go to the ring. Out first comes the club. AJ Styles and Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Well, U.S. champion, Ricochet was out next. Gallows and Anderson beat Ricochet down before the bell even rings. AJ backs him off after the attack. Ruffy checks on Ricochet and he's good to go. The bell finally rings. Ricochet gets some offense early on. Ricochet with a big drop kick. AJ suckers Ricochet in. Send him face first into the turnbuckles. Ricochet with more offense and another drop kick to send AJ back down. AJ ends up turning it around on the outside after a distraction by Gallows. AJ launches uh, Ricochet into the ring post and the referee counts. AJ brings it back in the ring. Keeps the show for another two count after launching Ricochet into the corner. AJ with more offense to keep Ricochet grounded. Ricochet fights up from his knees. Counters a move. Finally drops AJ with an insecurity, but he can't put him away. Ricochet mounts, mounts offense again. He's fired up. Ricochet with another big kick to the face from the apron. Ricochet with a flying clothesline from the top. Ricochet flies out. Takes down Anderson and Gallows in front of the announcers. Ricochet comes back in. Goes to work on AJ for a close two count. After a springboard moonsault, Ricochet runs into an elbow in the corner. Ricochet catches AJ with a Catches AJ and hits an order like suplex. More back and forth on the floor. It wasn't an actual order like suplex. It was more than a crossroads. Had him up and twist him over. Ricochet getting there, gets a two count. More back and forth. Styles drops Ricochet with a, a big knee to the back of the neck. But AJ clutches his knee like he hurt his knee. AJ keeps control. Hits a snap suplex into the turnbuckles. Ricochet still kicks out of two. More offense. The counters from Ricochet for, for a two count. AJ rocks Ricochet from the apron. AJ calls for a phenomenal forearm, but has to roll through off the springboard. AJ drops Ricochet for his first and covers for a two count. AJ then argues with the referee as he throws shows frustration. As he thought he got the three count. 
supposed to get for drinking? You're a pro. Uh, Ricochet counters a style of Smash for a two count. Referee then checks on both superstars while they're down as Anderson and Gallows look on from opposite sides of the ring. They get to their, to their knees and trade straight. Dark trading strikes on the way back up to their feet. Fans are duly chances. The strikes continue. AJ unloads and hits a Pele kick. After taking a kick from uh, Ricochet, Ricochet counters a brain buster and drops AJ on his own head. But AJ comes right back with a brain buster for another two count. AJ then tells Anderson that Ricochet won't stay down. AJ take, takes Ricochet to the top, but Ricochet fights him off. Styles climbs up, but gets knocked to the mat. Styles jumps back up. The Ricochet slips. Both go down, but Ricochet. Keep the show. Goes back to up top. Ricochet with a big shooting star press. Four close two count. As Anderson shows the referee, the AJ's foot was on the ro bottom rope. Ricochet can't believe it. Anderson tries to interfere, but Ricochet brings him in and drops him. Gallows pushes Ricochet from the top as the referee was distracted, leaving him hum upside, da upside down in the corner. Tree of Woe. Styles follows up with a big super, super cl Styles clash. From the corners, he's the pin and the win. Winner, new champion, U.S. champion, AJ Styles. So it looks like he's had all the belts but the Universal title. After the after the match, AJ's music hits as he takes the title. Celebrates. We go to replays. Back. We we'll go back to the club celebrating. Tom Jones is reading some happenings that led us to the next match, which was not advertised: Ziggler versus Owens. Not much of a match. It's almost over with as soon as Mel rings. Ziggler and Owens meeting Mel ring for some trash talking. Just as Mel rings, Ziggler smacks Owens. Owens comes right back with a stunner for the squash win. Look. I looked up and it was nothing but he, him going jump uh, up like he was a power bomb. And Kevin Owens just pinned him. After a quick win, Owens takes the mic and he says he can't speak. He can speak now. The Shane McMahon isn't here to cut his mic. Owen says he still stands by everything he said in the anti-Shane promo on SmackDown last Tuesday. Owen says he, he he expected to get fired or suspended when he showed up tonight. And that probably would have happened if Shane didn't have to deal with the Undertaker earlier. Owen goes on and says, After the tombstone Shane took, he speaks for everyone else when he says Shane could kiss his butt and go straight to hell. Old Josh Mike, like CM Punk, hits corner to pose as his music hits. Video package for tonight's WWE title match. Charlie's backstage with Samoa Joe, talking about Kobe Kingston on a type show, title reign, and ending the dream of the new day, holding titles together. Joe says that the gold filled dream becomes a night. Now, and that matches up next. Joe, Samoa Joe versus Kobe Kingston. Our first comes Samoa Joe. Next is Kobe Kingston by himself, tossing pancakes to the crowd. The bell rings and a former introduction from the ha Greg Hamilton. Kobe immediately charges and drop kicks Joe into the corner. Joe comes right back out of the corner and levels Kobe with a clothesline. Joe goes to work on Kobe with strikes, backing him into the corner. Joe with chops into the corner now. Kobe fights out with rights of his own. Joe sweeps the leg. Kobe goes down. All down bad on the knee. Joe works Kobe around and chokes him with with, a middle, with the middle rope. As the referee warns him, Joe drops Kobe with a big elbow and talks trash. Joe keeps Kobe grounded in the middle of the ring. More back and forth as Kobe tries to fight fight him fight back up. Joe tries to break Kobe's fingers. Joe takes Kobe out and puts his fingers between the steel ring steps. It stomps on him. Kobe screaming out in pain on the ground. Joe brings him back to the ring and taunts Kobe, punishing him some more. Kobe fights right back and delivers a drop kick, hits the top, hits the top, hits the ropes, taking Joe down again. Joe pulls Kobe in and sends him to the apron. Kobe goes up top, hits crossbody for a two count. Kobe keeps going, but Joe catches him with a big power slam out of nowhere for a two count. Joe powerbomb Kobe in the middle of the ring, holds it for a two count. Joe goes right into the SCF submission, pulling back on the injured hand. Kobe finally makes it to the bottom rope to break the hold, but Joe takes advantage of the count. 
Joe waits some time and taunts the crowd to wake them up a bit. Kobe then goes for the SOS out of nowhere. It gets a two count. Kobe waits for Joe to get up. Joe blocks the trouble in paradise and finds Kobe in a clutch as he was caught. Joe plants Kobe into the mat with a urinology. It covers for a close two count after a senton. Some fans chant, we, we want Lesnar, while others chant, we don't know we don't, in response. More back and forth between the two. Kobe nails trouble in paradise out of nowhere for the pin and retains in a fairly short match. I don't think it went like six or seven minutes. After the match, Kobe hits the corner to pose with the title as the music plays. Kobe continues celebration into a, into a break. We go back to Michael Cole's song, Corey Grazing and Ray Nayan, for a video package showing what led tonight, tonight's main event. Winner takes all, extreme rules. Barry Corbin and Lacey Evans versus Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. We go to rank for tonight's main event. Out comes first, consummated. Constable Corbin. Lacey makes her way out next. Raw Women's Champion Be Becky Lynch is out first for her team. Universal Champion Seth Rollins is out last. Winners of this match will take home both titles. Evans and Corbin will no longer receive shots from Lynch and Rollins if they lose. We get former ring introduction from Mike Rome. Evans and Lynch start the match. Evans taunts Lynch and turns her back. But Lynch knocks her out of the ring. Evans comes right back on the apron. Lynch like yanks her in. Going back to work. Going to work. To start again. Lynch with a kick to the face. Evans tags back in Corbin. Rollins runs in and leaves attacking Corbin. Corbin ends up rolling Rollins up for a two count. Corbin runs into a boot in the corner. Rollins with a blockbuster. Corbin rolls to the floor for a breather. Corbin brings the kid to the in from, from under the ring. Corbin comes in and misses a kendo stick shot. Rollins fires back and works him over. Corbin tosses Rollins to the apron. Rollins with an insecurity from the apron. Rollins comes back in. Hits a sling blade. Lacey swings the stick at Rollins, but he catches it. Evans tries, tries to flirt with Rollins, but this only angers the man. She comes in and unloads on Evans with a stick of her own. Rollins also hits Corbin. So we get simultaneous kendo six shots. They stop and Sarah shut it down, then go back to work. On their opponents, and to, they clear the ring for a pop. Rollins and Lynch run the ropes and for a dive and a baseball side combo to their opponents. They do another double team move and stand tall on the floor for a pop. Rollins with a chop to Corbin now. Rollins levels Corbin with a big elbow and sends him to the floor. Rollins runs the ropes for a suicide dive, but Corbin meets him with a steel chair to the face. Corbin comes back in for a two count. Corbin unloads on Rollins while he's down. Corbin grabs a steel chair and keeps Rollins down with, with chair shots. Corbin with a two count in the middle of the ring. Corbin has Evans bring him more chairs in. Two chairs are positioned back to back in the middle of the ring. Corbin and Rollins tangles, tangles some more. Corbin drops Rollins with a chair with a DDT, but Rollins kicks out. Lynch tries to rally for the fans for a boyfriend, but Corbin keeps him down with a Another jab of the chair. Corbin wedges the chair in the corner. Trying to do it RVD style for the first time. And then slams him face first a few times in the chair. That is standing in the middle of the ring. Lynch and Corbin have words out. Rollins ends up mounting some offense with two kicks. Rollins launches Corbin face first into the chair. That's wedged into the corner from earlier. Evans and Lynch are, are, are brought in. Lynch charges with a chair, but Evans picks up one of her own. Just not in time. Evans with chair shots on the outside. Lynch sends Evans into the barrier a few times. They bring him back in. And Lynch ends up dropping Evans face first into a, sta into a standing chair. Lynch stacks two chairs and barely drops Evans onto it with a black spider suplex. Becky puts a chair on top of Evans and hits a leg drop from the top rope. Evans kicks out of two. Lynch goes to the top, but Corbin tries to save, save Evans. Rollins decks Corbin from behind. Lynch leaps from, from the top rope and sends the chair into Corbin's face after an assist from Rollins. Corbin gets dumped to the outside. Evans sweeps Lynch and launches herself into, into Lynch with an elbow drop. Evans goes to the top and hits a big moonsault for a two count. Evans is bust, 
Evans has a busted lip. Lynch avoids the woman's right, but can't get the disarmor. They tangle and Lynch gets gets a two count. Lynch with a reverse DDT. Rollins brings the table from under the ring, and the crowd pops. Well, at this point, my feet goes out again. Lynch goes out to help bring in another table from under the ring. They carry the table that stood up in the, near the ring for the bottom of the ramp. Well, we didn't uh, catch it back uh, at, at, at by the time it was over with. I came. Uh, I went ahead and read the results, and we shall watch the uh, rewinded it from the start. Uh, actually, fast forward it from the restart of it and finished it. Uh, finished it out. Well, uh, they carried the table that st stood up near the bottom of the ramp near Corbin and Evans, who were down. They go back and grab the other table, bring it over where they stood on the other side of the other table up. At Rollins grabs Corbin but gets pushed back into the barrier. Evans counters Lynch and sends her into the barrier. Corbin tosses Rollins into the timekeeper's area. Evans sends Lynch into the steel steps. Corbin drops Rollins over the announce table and brings him back into the ring. Evans and Corbin unload on Rollins in the middle of the ring. With Kendall six shots now. Lynch comes in to make the save, but she can't. Evan choke, Evan choke Sam's Lynch. At the same time, Corbin choke Sam Rollins. They both co cover for penitence, but the champs kick out. Evans argues with the referee as they clear the ring of their opponents. Right near the two tables that are standing on the outside. At ringside, Corbin pulls one table to the bottom of the ramp. They bring the champs to the bottom of the ramp as well. Evan and Corbin try to double suplex Rollins through a table. But he resists. Lynch comes over and joins Rollins. And they double suplex Corbin. And Evans dropping them back onto the steel ramp. They go to go, go, go through the table. They go through the, on, on the ramp. Lynch places Evans on top of one of the tables. Rollins places Corbin on top of the other table at ringside. Announce table. Rollins goes to the top. While Lynch goes to the, goes to the apron. Lynch climbs up with him to, to the second turnbuckle. Lynch with a big leg drop from the second rope, putting Evans through, through the table. Rollins does a big frog splash from the top, putting Corbin through the other table. Some fan champ, holy crap, now as we get a replay on the table spot. Rollins brings Corbin back in the ring, while Lynch and Evans stay, are still down in the table of debris. Rollins cranks up for the stomp, but Corbin catches him and turns it into a power bomb. Rollins runs through, but Corbin catches him with a big deep... Uh, a deep six. Lynch run, runs in and breaks the pin up at two. Corbin ends up catching Becky in the, in the days out of nowhere. Rollins, looks, uh, Rollins is up. Looks pissed. Corbin talks Rollins and laughs. Rollins responds by un unloading with, on Corbin with a kendo stick many times. Fast bullet, uh, uh, bullet, uh, bullet style. Machine gun style. Uh, Rollins with several chair shots again. Rollins snapped. Rollins pulls, nails a stomp on Corbin. Evans is shocked that she heads up heads up the ramp. She didn't didn't look uh, like it either. Rollins with a second stomp to Corbin. Then a third. Rollins covers Corbin to retain both titles. What after the match, Rollins and Lynch look to celebrate, but Brock Lesnar's hit as he's cashing in. Well, Paul Paul Heyman is out. What money and break briefcase? He doesn't yet cash in yet. You ever watch the title match? Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. Brock hits the ring and Seth charges him, but Lesnar nails a German suplex. And then another. Two of them. Paul Heyman stand, then, still holding the contract at ringside, finally catches in, hands the tells the referee Mike Rome, uh, Rome to make the announcement. Lesnar looks down at Rollins. The bell rings and Lesnar smiles. Lesnar grabs Rollins, drops him over the F5, covers for the win. After the match, Lesnar stands tall with the title. As the music hits, we go to replays from the main event. And the cash in, the stream rule goes off the air. Winner and new Universal Champion Brock, uh, Brock Lesnar standing tall. And that concludes my results for Extreme Bulls. Thanks again. Peace out. See you on the You're going on. Just call me, brothers and sisters.